Good morning. It is a good morning. I'm wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday and the day before. Oh, oh. you impressed. It smells like it too. Maybe I should go change my shirt. Oh, much better, much better. Smells clean. That doesn't mean I'm clean, but it means I smell clean. Cleaner. All right. We're in Middleton, Nova Scotia. We're headed up to Bay St. Anne, New Brunswick. We're gonna pick up a load there that's taking us down to Georgia. In Georgia, we're supposed to have a load down there waiting for us to go home. Should be home if everything lines up perfectly and the stars align and everything all falls into place and all the ducks get in a row. I might be home next Sunday. Let's stop wasting time. Let's go. Get ourselves back onto Highway 101 here. Which will take us to Highway 102. Which will take us to Highway 2. Meander our way up into northern New Brunswick tonight yet. I called them already and asked if they would load me today. It looks like I'm going to be there around 7.30 tonight, their time. Uh, they said that their regular shipper goes home at 5, but they have a night crew that might be able to load me. Not for sure, but they're going to get back to me in a little while. Uh, that's their lunch break right now, so right after lunch they should get back to me on whether or not I can get loaded tonight. That would be really good for me if they could. If not, it'll be first thing tomorrow morning. And there's supposed to be a big snowstorm moving up the coast, up to Canada here on the East Coast. Right now it's in New York City and Newark. It's, it's coming. It's coming this way. Sunshine and rainbows right now, but this is the Maritimes, don't forget. I would not be surprised if we woke up tomorrow and there was three feet of snow on the ground. I just I wouldn't even bat an eye. I'd be like, oh yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Maritimes, wintertime, yep. Three feet of snow? Well, that's just a dusting. Just filled up the tanks with fuel. Uh, the customer called me back. They're not gonna be able to load me tonight, so they're gonna load me around 6 a.m. tomorrow. That'll be fun. But they offered to let me park on their yard tonight, which is nice. So I'll be able to sleep as long as possible early morning but whatever an early start is a good start let's get get going on the right kind of schedule again right not driving nights probably end up on nights by the time I get home anyway but whatever so we're gonna load up then and head down towards uh, what's it called shady something <laughs> shady grove Georgia shady lane shady shady dale shady dale something like that shady something down in Georgia I'm leaving Tuesday, Wednesday. That means I should be there Thursday afternoon. As long as I don't hit that snowstorm that's supposed to be on the coast somewhere. Guess we'll see what happens. So I'm still expecting to get to the customer and the shipper at around 7.30 Atlantic time tonight. Drive 153 kilometers on Highway 104 West. That'll be 5.30 Central Time. Then I will be up at 6 a.m. to be unloaded, to be reloaded and get on my way. Then it'll be a non-stop run. I, I think there'll be a load waiting for me down, down south already to go home. I'm hoping so. Because I've been gone for so long, they, they told me they're gonna get me home now, so. See what happens once we get there. Nothing is really guaranteed in trucking. That's the downside of it. Well, we're just coming up to the toll booths here in Nova Scotia, just before we exit the province. If you want to enter on the Trans Canada, gotta pay the toll. Fifteen dollars for a unit like mine. It's three dollars per axle, so most cars would just be six dollars. Apparently, there's other ways to get in and out of the province, but I'm sure that those back roads are pretty inconvenient. 
I just got American money for them here, so usually they accept that no problem. And after this, it's just a hop, skip, and a hump, and we'll be in New Brunswick. I don't have an e-pass for here. I have an easy pass for the states, but I don't have an e-pass for here. Gotta give them money still. $15. Hi. I just have American money. Thank you. One nice thing about Canada. Everybody accepts American money. Everybody accepts American money. Where we go. Pay with Canadian money, pay with American money, whatever you want. Go to the States, <laughs> American money only. Just try to pay them with Canadian money once. They'll give you the weirdest look ever. Just got into New Brunswick. I'm gonna pull off to this Irving Big Stop over here to our left. Go grab a coffee. It's interesting on these days when I don't have to drive this Turn far. Right on all that road. No quiet. Feels like I get tired faster when I don't have as much to do. So I'm ready for the day to end already, and you know it's not even not even a full day. I've only been driving like three hours, but my brain sometimes somehow sees it as like, oh, you're over half done your day already. So we need to start getting tired. You guys have that? Here's the Irving just off to the the left here. These Irvings are really nice. Like I say that every time, but really, you have to trust me. They're really nice. Just going in here to pick up a coffee though. They're fancy coffee makers. Just feeling drained today. I don't know. It's usually on these days, like I said though. If I know in my mind that it's a short half day, for some reason I just <sighs> drag my feet a little bit almost. It's when I'm in more of a rush, when I got a full day ahead of me and I know I've got to drive like my full 11 hours, especially in the States, or full 13 here in Canada. For some reason then I'm good to go the whole time so I think my brain is just programmed it's like I wake up in the morning and I think of what I got to do that day and it sort of programs itself all right we're gonna have to supply enough energy for this amount of work no more at least I'll be able to fall asleep easily later hopefully I got a good sleep last night that's not the problem I'm not tired like I'm not falling asleep I'm just ready for the date end or day it's just in my head you know I'm just like Ugh. Feels like this day has just been going on forever already, and it's only been a couple of hours. You guys get that? Maybe a coffee will help. I'm sure that'll make me feel a little more with it in the game here. Also got some chocolate covered raisins, just in case I need some sugar. One can never have enough sugar. I guess diabetes begs to differ, but I really like sugar. Especially chocolate. Chocolate covered raisins. Mm. If anything, it'll lift my spirits and make me more happy, right? Sound like a woman. Just give me chocolate and I'll be happy. Works for men too, what are you talking about? Chocolate is a magical, magical thing. But so is coffee. When you combine the two, woo! We're gonna be fireworks. All right. I did remember to put myself off duty. Okay, good. All right. That took all of 11 minutes to run in there and get back out here. Oh, okay. Off we go. Another two hours left. Two hours. I'm gonna have. Oh, I'll have pretty good amount of time once we get there. Should get there at 7.30, they're gonna load me at six. So 10 and a half hours, that's perfect. Because I'm crossing into the United States tomorrow, I have to stop for a full 10 consecutive hours tonight so that my log books are legal to cross into the United States because that's just the way it goes. Strangest thing up here, look at all these trees on the 
on the side of the road here. They're all bent over. All over the place. It wasn't like, well, it was like that last time me and Britt were here, but it wasn't like that last year. So strange. All along here. Why are they all bent over like that? I think they're all bowing. Trucker Josh is on the highway. Look at them all bow. That's right. The king is rolling through. <laughs> Why aren't the other ones bowing? Hey! Pine trees? Do you know who I am? And then all of a sudden all these trees are fine. And then again, here on the left. All bowing down again. What causes that? So weird. A whole bunch of them over here now again? Weird. <laughs> kind of looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? So I made it to the customer here. They got a nice yard to park at. Right at their facility here. So I'll be here first thing in the morning when they open up. Get this freight on the trailer and head down to Georgia. I'm going to worry about everything else with the videos and whatnot another day. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Guess I didn't sleep as well as I thought I did last night, but hey, at least we only had a half day today. I'm going to go to sleep right away. And uh, before you know it, it's morning. It comes quickly. So we're going to meander our way into the yard there right now. Throw that freight into my trailer, lock the doors behind it, and make a beeline for the American border. We should be in Georgia, like I said, Thursday afternoon. So now, it's Tuesday morning, it's rolled around quicker than we thought it would. But I had a great sleep. Great sleep. Whew. Truck is ready to go. I'm ready to go. Come on, let's go get our freight. See you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time for the Journey South. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. I make a new one every day.